There is the brass tomahawk that I cast this morning in the shop. Uh, Hi, Daniel Tokar here at the Willow Forge in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. I sometimes get asked why I don't just post whatever happens in the shop on a given day, and generally I'm not sure that it would be that interesting or it's uh, too much of a bother to set up and, and there's enough confusion and guests and my clients have some right to privacy. But we had a snowfall last night and most people are staying home, so I'm kind of here by myself. So anyway, I thought today was a, a good day to uh, work on the Tomahawk project. Uh, I have a friend who had the bright idea that we should make some uh, 18th century style brass tomahawks because there were uh, presentation grade tomahawks, trade tomahawks that were made out of brass with dovetailed in steel bits. And uh, the reproductions that are on the market are generally pretty poor or uh, wrong in a lot of different ways. And I do have some 18th century uh, uh, brass alloy that I can use because 18th century brass is not modern brass. It's a different composition. But anyway, so this is the little corner of the one bench uh, that I use for ramming up the molds. So I have some homemade casting flasks and I have my pattern for this particular tomahawk. So I see if you can get a look at that and see that that is a pipe tomahawk that has a uh, place for uh, the core pattern to make the eye. That's what that uh, thing that looks like the handle in the center of the tomahawk is. And the extended shaft from the bowl of the pipe is actually so that you can uh, chuck it up in the lathe and uh, do the ornamental turning on the bowl. And that's also why there's that boss uh, on the edge side. And if it looks like it's kind of uh, clipped off in front, it's uh, because there's going to be about an inch and a half wide steel bit that gets dovetailed into that once everything is, uh, is ready. And this pattern is carved out of wood. You can see it's double-sided and separated by a piece of um, 3 8 inch cabinet grade plywood. And just so you can see, that's the dirty side. I haven't actually cleaned that off since casting the first one. All right, we're going to go over and look at the furnace and the casting. Hold on. Okay, we've moved over to the little uh, mold table. This is the casting as it comes out of the flask. This is what gets cast. You see it's got a little flange. There is a pouring gate and a riser on the other end. And the eye is not perfectly centered, but that will get filed and corrected. But overall, that's actually a very decent casting. You always make them a little heavier with brass because you'll finish them out. That's not too bad. So anyway, to compare this to the um, pattern, there is the pattern. And let's see here. Here's the core box and a um, sodium silicate bonded sand core. This is the part that you make to make the eye in the tomahawk. And all it is is sand and sodium silicate mixed up together and pressed in this little fiberglass mold that I've made up. And you shoot a little carbon dioxide in there to cure it. And it's, uh, it's bonded together, but not so tightly that you can't easily break it out of the eye once you're done. Okay, there is the flask with the 
rammed up Petrobon sand that was used to cast the tomahawk. There's the brass part that came out of there. I did mess the mold up a little bit getting it out, but that's what happens. There's the pattern again. There's the top part of the uh, flask, which is generally called the drag. So what you're looking at there is the cope or the bottom part. And it's just screwed together two by fours with some nails to help hold the, uh, the uh, molding sand in place. And the little furnace, I've got several furnaces, but this is the medium small sized furnace. Um, this is good up to about a 20 pound casting. Uh, so I have a fairly small crucible in there because I only needed to pour about four pounds uh, in order to cast this. And once all the sprues and gates and other things are cut off and it's all finished out, the, uh, the finished tomahawk will weigh about a pound and a half, two pounds. Uh, so maybe in a week or so I will uh, post pictures after it's uh, prettied up, has a steel bit in it and a nice tiger maple handle. Anyway, that's what I'm doing in the shop, January the 8th, 2020. Bye.